The goal of this video is to introduce Euler's method, which is a way to analyze numerically solutions of differential equations of the form dy dx equals f of x comma y. So here's a motivating example. Suppose we have the differential equation dy dx equals x squared minus y squared. It's not separable. There's no obvious way to solve this equation exactly. We can draw a slope field because it's an equation that tells us the slope everywhere. dy dx equals some explicit function of x and y. So it's a, it's a very clear statement about the slopes. So if we knew we had a solution that went through, say, the point negative 2, negative 1, we might be interested in figuring out where else uh, the solution curve would go through. And Euler's method provides a way to approximate these other points. And the method is to follow along the tangent slope by a fixed horizontal displacement. So if we took that displacement size, the step size, to be 1, what would we, we would do in this method is to start at negative 2, negative 1. We would draw the line through that point that is parallel to the slope at that point, and we would move along that line until we've gone one unit along the horizon and we'd stop and we'd look at the new slope there and we'd follow that tangent line along until we've gone one unit along the horizon and we would continue and in this way we would generate a discrete segment filled approximation to the solution of course if you look at the solution in this case it's quite horribly off and doesn't look like it's really very useful at all but the problem is we used too large a step size so let's redo this example with step size equal to a half so we start at the point negative 2 negative 1 move along this line but this time we're only going to move one half unit along the horizon we'll take the new slope repeat the process find the new slope repeat the process and now we'll just finish briefly and notice that already we have marked improvement. Our approximation looks a lot closer to the actual solution. And the moral here is a smaller step size means more accuracy. Of course, it also means more calculations. So if we had a step size equal to a quarter, well, already that looks a lot better. And if we wanted tiny step size, we, we would have many calculations, and at this point, it sounds like a job for software. And indeed, there are many tools out there that allow you to do this. GeoGebra is a free um, online utility, and with a step size of 0 0.1, which means 40 steps, you already get this quite beautiful looking approximation to an actual solution. So the algorithm allows us to crank out these points in theory at least and the question is how do we actually do this how do we go from a point xn comma yn to the next one in line so let's take a moment to see how this works suppose we have a differential equation dy dx equals f of xy and we'll start here this is one of our points in the sequence of our approximations and we want the next approximation the new x-coordinate isn't that hard to find because all we're doing is moving delta x along the horizon. So there's no real drama there. We know we're just going to add delta x to get our new x-coordinate. Now this slope is key, the slope at x and y n. And of course that slope is equal to the value of the function f when we plug in the coordinates x n and y n. So there's the point we're interested in when we follow that line. So we want to figure out y n plus 1. That's really the key. Let's call this vertical displacement delta y, and we'll just make the very simple observation that delta y over delta x, the rise over run, that has to give you the slope of that line, which is the function value at x and y n. So delta y can be solved in terms of the other quantities, and yn plus 1 minus yn being delta y, now we can solve for yn plus 1. And taken together, 
These are recursive equations. They allow you to find each new xn and yn in terms of the previous one. Now, keep in mind the f in this um, in this equation on the bottom is the function of two variables that appears on the right side of this differential equation. So let's look at this original example we had. We're going to use this recursive formula for yn. It's going to be central to the whole thing. It's really the heart of Euler's method. Let's identify our function. Our function in this case is x squared minus y squared, a function of two variables. You need an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate to plug into this thing. And so we're going to start here at negative 2, negative 1, so we'll put those values into the table. And we have this extra column for the value of the slope at these points. And we're going to use a step size of 0 0.5. So the issue here is, what is y1? That's our first job. We want to find y1. Well, according to our recursive formula, y1 should be f of x0 y0 times delta x plus y0. We can figure all of this out. The first thing we need to do is figure out the, this value. And we have to use the correct coordinates, negative 2 and negative 1. And when we plug those in, we find that the slope is 3. So let's put that in the table. And now we're ready to find y1. It is 3, the slope, times 0 0.5 delta x minus 1, adding the old y coordinate, and that gives us 0 0.5. So that was the y coordinate y1 we were looking for. And so we found the first leg of our approximation. The next step would be to find y2. So we're going to repeat this process, but now all our n's have moved up one, so to speak. In other words, y2 is f of x1, y1, delta x plus y1. Once again, to evaluate this function, you need to plug in the appropriate coordinates. And we find that the new slope is 2 at this point. And now we can simply calculate the new y-coordinate. So y2 is equal to 1.5. And once again, we found a new leg. Let's go through this one more time. What's y3? Well, we have to find the slope first. The slope, in this case, when we plug in negative 1 for x and 1.5 for y, is negative 1.25. And when we use that slope for the formula to give us y3, we get 0 0.875 is our new y-coordinate. So you can repeat this process over and over again. And you can fill out the values of yn. And you can see why software would be important, because this would be pretty tedious if you had tiny steps and mini step sizes.